The details of the battles with Kadyrovites near Bakhmut and their losses are revealed. Our troops have had partial success on the southern flank near Bakhmut and are entrenched on the lines. Serhii Cherevati, the speaker of the Eastern Group of Troops of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, said this. In general, the initiative belongs to the Defence Forces of Ukraine. Daily combat work continues step by step while preserving our personnel as much as possible. We are moving towards occupying the dominant heights and ousting the enemy from its lines, he stressed. At the same time, he added that the enemy is putting up incredible resistance. According to him, 538 times over the past day, Russian invaders hit Ukrainian positions with different types of artillery and carried out two air raids. In general, five clashes took place in this direction in which 71 invaders were destroyed, 141 were injured and one was taken prisoner. Four enemy tanks, an airborne combat vehicle, two Grad multiple launch rocket systems, three cannons, two Hyacinth S self-propelled artillery mounts, two anti-tank missile systems, one Strela 10 air defense system, as well as a Murom M surveillance complex and five UAVs were destroyed, Cherevati said. He confirmed that Kadyrovites were seen in their operational zone, in the Kleshevka area and in the Svatovsky direction. According to Cherevati, the battles showed that their business is gendarmerie and police and as soldiers they are of no value. Having suffered losses, they retreated. If they continue to go into battle with experienced Ukrainian soldiers, then they will face the same fate as the Wagnerites, he added. Russia is trying to keep Bakhmut with the help of Kadyrovites.